I think I'll set you up here on my boy's truck as soon as I can get it to sit still for a minute. All right, everybody, I ain't put nothing up, nothing on the S10, nothing on this or anything else. And also I'll tell you why during the summer when you seemed I had all the time in the world to get the little S10 out and actually get some new video of it, I'll explain to you what's been going on uh, and why I didn't get it out like any more than what I did. First off, all I've been doing on this is sanding. I uh, figured out I had the cab mount, isolators, rubbers, whatever, switched front to back. That's why the cab was cocked up. Got that fixed. <laughs> Put it back where they go, so now the body line's line and the cab sits like it's supposed to. As I said in the other video, we redid the cab mounts out of 3 16 Put gussets in them, stiffened them up. Core support's all done, firewall's done, wiring is pretty much all done. Uh, Gauge cluster, I gotta redo the face because I went and bought a autometer GPS speedometer for the truck because I ain't screwing with cables and bullshit with the 205 and everything in the turbo 350. I just put, I actually uh, bought one for the S10 and I never used it, so I'm gonna use it in this. And if it works out good, I might put one in the S10. But yeah, it's an autometer, white face, it's like three and three eighths. It's a GPS speedometer. Everybody says they work really well. It better for $382. It better work real damn good. You can buy a Japanese cheapie for about $70. Uh, China cheapie, whoever the hell makes them. But we've got this to the point where I'm almost ready to prime it. Uh, at least the cabin, the bed, the doors, the jams and everything are sanded out. All the interiors gutted. Uh, I went online to LMC. And my son and I went over there and I just went through the book and got every piece of weather strip, new window motors, new regulators, new all the shit for the doors, everything new. New master cylinder. Uh, I fixed the brake lines already and then I fixed that before I touched the paint up on the chassis. So that's all done. It's got all new brake lines front to black. Uh, the, it's got the stainless lines already on it from the lift kit. And the springs are for a K20. The lift kit's for a K20. The chassis is a K30. So I got the thicker chassis, it springs, whatever. So now you know that. Uh, I got to bring the fenders in and get them done because I'm not using the red fenders. I am using the red tailgate because it has zero rust on it and no dents. I pulled the Chevrolet thing off. I just got to clean the glue off of it. But that's all I've been doing, is sanding on that and hanging out with the grandson. Uh, I've got multiple sclerosis. I was diagnosed back in 01, late 01, early 02. I've been fighting it most times. It don't bother me unless I get myself wore way down or I'm extremely wore out. All spring and all summer, I've been dealing with the issue with muscle pain control and so forth in my legs. To the point, sometimes it gets excruciating. I can't walk unless I got a cane. And it's been coming and going and coming and going. But the doctor seems to think uh, that it has to do with something I was taking. I switched the vitamins and started taking the vitamin. It had a lot more of certain things in it that was overloading my system. I quit taking them about two weeks ago. And each day it's been improving. So hopefully we keep going down that track. But all summer, it's kind of hard to get in something that makes that kind of horsepower when your legs are slow to react. It's one thing to go around the block and get on it a little bit, but to go out and actually try to run it at its potential, there was no way I was going to do it because it wouldn't have been safe. Okay? It wouldn't be safe. I was having issues also along the lines. I was having like really violent headaches once a week. We went in, they did CT scan, MRI, make sure it wasn't a tumor, brain tumor, cancer, aneurysm, or anything like that. It wasn't. Uh, it was a really bad issue with uh, my sinuses, which I fought on my right side my whole life because my nose got broke when I was really young and it basically don't let the side drain. The shit lays in there. I went and got roto rooter. All of that's gone now. And that hurt like hell. Uh, but now we're just down to getting this thing primed and painted, getting 
get the motor in it, which I should have the engine, I'm hoping before Christmas. If not, it's when he gets it done. They're so backed up up there, it's unreal. I have never in 12 years seen this man that's backed up with shit set on the floor to be built. So, uh, I'm trying to find him a, a, a kid or somebody that likes to tear shit apart for a teardown guy and a guy to clean the shop up. He's looking for help, pays good. But that's all we're doing is this, accumulating parts for this. My son did buy the block. It's going to be a 427 small block. He bought a dark block for it. Got some other parts he's bought for it. We're going to start, start getting the chassis cleaned up and braced and everything on it. It's all gutted. My phone's sitting on top of the cab and the chassis sitting right here crossways in the shop. But that's all that's going on. And that's why I hadn't had the truck out. And then through the winter, you'll see some videos on the S10. Like we're going to do the coilovers, the front lower control arms. We're going to put bigger turbos on it. Uh, I'm going to get with John Bittler and have him or Kevin at CSU, one of the two. Uh, John builds a good carburetor, but there's some things about it I don't like. Uh, so I might go somewhere else, but I'm going to get one because I'm really considering possibly just putting it on methanol. And that way I can eliminate one of the radiators. I can, it'd be easier to keep it cool. Now that it's not overheating, or anything like that it's not nose heavy the trucks a lot lighter than what you think it is it's under 3,000 pounds so just barely but it's under 3,000 pounds without me in it but I got some things I want to do to it you're always wanting to upgrade and change okay so but I want to put a little bit bigger turbo on it than 78 75 I really do uh, it'll be a T4, but we're going to go to something a little bit bigger. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So, as I do things, we're going to build a bed cover for it and do some different stuff to it. But, as I get something more interesting, I'll put videos up. So, just kind of bear with me if you follow the channel and follow anything in the truck. Thank you to everybody that subbed at 1.17. Just completely blows my mind. If you got any questions... Put it in the comments. I'm trying to watch the comments more closely, or you can email me at backyardbuilttrucks1 at gmail.com, all one word. Beat on me. If I don't answer you, just keep hounding me because I only check my email like once a week. And if you're on Facebook and you know me and I'm in Messenger, I have the Backyard Built Trucks Facebook page, and my wife and I shared Facebook page, and I don't stay signed into Messenger on Backyard Built Trucks. So I try to go over like once a week, sign in, check and see if you sent me anything. If you do, I'll answer you back. So, you know what I'm saying? And I, I'm not, oh, sometimes it may show I'm there, but I'm not. So, I kind of bounce back and forth between the two. But other than that, everybody, have a good Thanksgiving. If I don't say it, which I probably will, have a very Merry Christmas. I don't do Happy Holidays. It's Merry Christmas. That's the way I was raised. Happy Thanksgiving. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Not Happy Holidays. Uh, everybody stay safe. God bless. Hang in there. Shit's got to get better. Do what you do. Make videos. Do whatever. Share information. Reach out and help somebody this holiday season that needs help. And uh, when I got something interesting, I'll put it up. So I plan on having this thing primed by the end of the month. So you'll get to see that. Everybody, again, stay safe. God bless. Thank you for watching. Later.